What's up people, in this video we are going to cover Samsung Notes versus Google Keep. Both are available on Android devices. The video will cover the topics shown on the screen right now. So without further ado, let's jump in. Samsung Notes is available on Samsung devices, while the app can also be downloaded from Google Play. Google Keep is available on Android and iOS devices, while you can go to the website anytime to access the notes. Samsung Notes does not offer a Windows official software, but the team called XDA developers have developed a similar software for Windows 10. The tool can open the Samsung Note app files as well. The comparison mainly focuses on the mobile apps. Samsung Notes is a straightforward app with all the notes on the home page. The app comes with a dark mode which works with the device's dark theme. Google Keep also comes with a simple interface with all the notes on the home page. The app comes with the dark theme and the notes can be pinned for easier access. Let's talk about the tools both offer. Samsung Notes supports more extended options for notes. You can add a checklist in a text note. Google Keep does not offer to add both. You can either create a checklist or a text note. Regarding tools, the app also is better than Google Keep because you get to add lists, change text size and color, align text, underline, italics and bold text. Google Keep does not come with any of the mentioned features. Both support drawing but the way both keep the notes is different. Samsung Notes leaves the drawing as it is while Google Keep saves the drawing separately away from the text. Both also offer a tag system. Google Keep calls it labels whereas Samsung Notes calls it categories. Both offer to search for titles, tags and text within the notes. One more thing Samsung Notes does much better than Google Keep is working with a stylus on Note devices. If the device is locked and the display is turned off and you remove the stylus, the app automatically shows the Note page to draw. Both support the reminding feature, but both work differently. Samsung Notes works with Samsung Reminder and you can send the info to the app and create a reminder. Google Keep contrarily supports the reminder option, but you can only create one reminder per note. The app also comes with times to remind at certain times of the day. Anyway, let's see the sharing tools. Samsung Notes only offers to share the file, but you get a few options. You can share in Samsung Notes format, Microsoft Word, PDF, image file and text file formats. Google Keep does not come with as many options, but it provides a collaboration feature. The app offers to add other users to collaborate in a note. Other than that, it offers to send the note text in other apps. Let's take a look at some of the features which might make a difference. Samsung Notes offers an option to enable and disable the synchronization. You can password protect the notes. It provides an option to import data from a phone, Samsung account and from Google Drive. It comes with an AI tool to convert the drawing into English text. And finally, it comes with two add-ons, neat shapes and easy writing pad to make drawing and writing easier and fancier. Google Keep on the other hand can create a document file and send the note to Google Docs while you can change a note's background color. So which one is for you? The simple answer to this question is if you only use notes on your Samsung device then you do not need to install another app. Just stick to Samsung Notes. But if you also access your notes on other devices then you should install Google Keep. Alright, the video Samsung Notes vs Google Keep covered the essential topics. I hope the information was useful. Please like the video if it helped and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you and take care.